Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming for you guys, episode number 9 of this trading technique series where I teach you guys trading techniques and methods and how you can maximize your coin potential and hopefully you guys will go on to make millions of coins like I did last year. So this one, yeah, you can see I'm on my trading account and uh, I'm just going to show you guys the St. Patrick's Day Cup or long-term investing. So guys, as many of you know, St. Patrick's Day is going to be on 17th of March, Monday this year, and you've got an opportunity now to invest into some players to hopefully maximize your coins when the cup is released. Now, you can buy Northern Ireland players, or you can buy players from the Republic of Ireland. You've got an option between the two. So, uh, mainly, you're going to need a full starting 11 and a subs bench for this cup, because I know from last year, I think it was online, it was 10,000 coins if you want it, and offline, I think it was 5,000. So, there's a lot of coins to be made on this one cup itself. So what I'd recommend, guys, start investing into some players. I'll cover gold, silver, bronzes, and inform cards in this episode. I'll give you a quick tip, guys. You can see up on screen, Given's already gone up in price from, I think it was 400 coins a couple weeks ago, to now almost pushing 1,500 coins in the market. And I'll show you guys the cheapest buy now, but I'm putting a lot of bids on as many Givens as I can. So hopefully, if I win one or two for 500, I can possibly sell them on for a thousand coins plus when the cup is released. And uh, if you're making a thousand coins and you've done it by preferably a hundred players, you're talking easily a hundred thousand coins. So you can see how much you're making in the long run. So getting back to it, guys, make your squads now if you can. Make a full bronze team, an Irish bronze team, um, subs and the starting 11 because you will need that. Many people panic because they only make the starting 11. And when the cup's released, then they start going and buying bronze players. And one thing you'll find is bronze players' prices will start increasing. So at the minute, some of them are going for 150. You can pick up a whole, basically a whole squad for 1,600 coins. And uh, later on, you'll notice that their prices will start to go to 400 coins each on a buy now. So they will get a little bit costly. Now, Ada McGeady over there, I picked up my one for, I think it was 1,800 coins. Um, I think it was a month ago. So I picked mine up quite early. But the only reason I needed him was for a skill squad, and it was a bit of a hybrid. So I had him in my club. I'm going to keep him there till the cup is released, and then sell him after I've played. And you guys will see it in the journey video tomorrow. I'll show you my Irish squad. I made a brand new basic team for the actual cup, and I'll hold on to them until I need to sell them and play the cup to make the coins, of course. So uh, getting back to it, what I'm doing is trying to pick up as many givens. You can look for Paddy Kenny, because... People will need these uh, goalkeepers in their squad. They're the most essential part in an Irish squad is your goalkeeper. As if you don't have one that's adequate, you're going to concede 90% of the time. So over here, I'm looking for bronze players. So you can see people have already started putting bids on bronze players for 150. But what I'd recommend, look for players that have more pace because those are the ones that are going to sell the quickest. So here I found this Murphy. I'm going to put a bid on him. We're going to see if we can actually hold on to him. And... Uh, I've also got my, 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 basically I think he's in one of my starting 11s for my Irish squad. So you'll see that there. You can also look for other players. Uh, you can look for silver players. But on terms of buy nows, I think the cheapest one was around about 600 coins last time I checked. But we'll search 1,000 just in case because the prices are going up. So what you guys need to do, make a squad, make a starting 11. Um, if you're not sure about what sort of team you should make, check out my video tomorrow. That will show you my whole team at the minute. And uh, in terms of investing, look for players that have a lot of pace, that have skill, and try to buy them as cheap as you can. Now, I've seen a lot of people, you know, going and putting a certain amount of coins on a player, and they'll put it on the whole set of players. Now, if you do that, you're going to find that people will later on out, sort of, put their cards up for cheaper, and you'll actually lose a lot of coins. So, bid as cheap as you can, that's the best recommendation. And also look for rare players or players that have massive pace, because that will more or less sell instantly when you're trading. So up on screen here, I see a player over there for 150. I'll put a bid on it. Uh, I think I'll put it for 200 coins because he's a decent player. This Dunn, I remember last year I made almost 300,000 coins just on that Dunn when he was a gold card. I picked them all up for 600 coins, sold them on later on for 3,000 coins. It was just simple and easy profit. So uh, what I'm doing is just putting up bids on any player that has decent pace. Chemistry Styles, I'm going to put a bid on that because that's going to be useful. Uh, people that are going to be a bit lazy, just, you know, we're doing the work for them and we'll maximize even more coins later on. So one recommendation, guys, I have to give you, I saw this happen a lot last year. People were buying teams for 60,000 coins on the day and then they were only making a 10,000 coins of the cup, selling their players on for maybe 20,000 coins in the evening and, uh, you know, making massive losses. So make cheap teams, guys. It will be totally more beneficial than uh, spending a lot of coins and making, you know, little coins back. So try buying your cheaper squads. 
and uh, you will always make your profit back easily. So keep your squads to a bare minimum if you have to, you know, spend a little bit more. Like players like McGeady will probably go up to 8k at the minute. He's around 4.6. So I'd say try keeping an eye on the market. You can find the occasional one or two that are listed up for a thousand coins on a buy now, and you can snatch them instantly. So do keep an eye on for that, and uh, you can straight away like if you're trading today you can make 3,000 coins on one Magidi in the in the space of a few minutes now I'm gonna show you an informed card which is Steven Island now he was going for 15,000 coins initially when he was out of packs and I was thinking about going and buying a lot of them before but you know as we are so far in advance before the cups actually going to be released I didn't want to do that and you can see already some people have uh, you know already taken the market the initiative to go and buy most of them on the market and list them for 70,000 coins plus which is kind of crazy I would say it's it's definitely you know kind of insane they're doing it way too early but when the cup's probably released he might as well probably go for 20 to 30,000 coins so there is informs that you can make profit on if you do find one for maybe under 20,000 coins I'd recommend you know picking it up uh, no harm in just giving it a try and if you want, you can always, you know, get rid of him later on. I think during the cup, he might go up to 20 to possibly 35,000 coins, just dependent on how many there are on the market. Because if someone, you know, spams the market, you're going to find that his price will go down. So over there, guys, another thing, actually, when you're trading, list your cards up one by one for an hour only because they have to be the cheapest on the market. People will undercut you. So that's a really big tip, guys. List your cards up one by one. If you've got like loads of McGeady's, list them one at a time, wait for that one to sell, then undercut the next, undercut the next. That's the best way to make a lot of profit. So I think that's coming to the end of this one, guys. Uh, I'm going to pretty much wrap up this uh, video over here. You can see I picked up a couple givens for around about 1,400 coins. I think I paid a little bit too much, but I'm going to be looking over the next few days to pick up some on really cheap bids. And uh, I'm going to show you my squad in the future episode. I don't think it's in this one. So Anyway, guys, hopefully you did enjoy. By all means, please do drop in a like if you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Tomorrow there'll be a double upload. Another two training techniques to follow this one, I think Wednesday and Friday. And uh, I'm just checking my club over here. I just want to see if I've got any players in my squad. When you open bronze packs, guys, you also get bronze players. So bronze Irish players. So that was one thing I was doing last year. Opening bronze packs and selling those players if I couldn't buy any on the market. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. By all means, drop in a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys for the next training technique.